A man is being called a hero following the first deadly fire in Cochran in more than a decade. Here's 41 NBC's Edna Ruiz with what he did to save someone's life before losing his own. The sound of a train is the only thing that drowns out the quietness on Peter Street following a deadly fire Thursday afternoon. It's just a shock. It's just something you don't expect. Cochrane Mayor Billy Omens says there hasn't been a fatal fire in the city of Cochrane in nearly 15 years. A lot of the guys here knew, so one thing that I ask is that, that they're struggling too with this. So. When firefighters arrived three minutes after being dispatched, the house was in heavy flames. The officers on scene with a bystander stated that there was at least one person still inside possibly two. 53-year-old Larry Jackson and his mother, 83-year-old Elman Lee Jackson, were found dead inside the home. He, he knew his mother was in there and, and she was bedridden and he wanted to go get, get her and get her out. And it wound up costing him his life too. But Jackson did save one life, his mother's caretaker. She wanted to assist with getting the mom out. He, he pretty much toted her and got her out of the house and then he went back in the house to get mom. The city is mourning the loss of Jackson and his mother, but also celebrating him. A hero and for all of us to celebrate, but you know, he won't get to celebrate with us that he was a hero for saving, saving one person. In Cochrane, Edna Ruiz, 41 NBC News. Investigators say the fire happened as a result of unattended cooking on the stovetop. They also found two smoke detectors in the home, but they did not have batteries inside of them.